Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Gertzman. You may know me as the former editor-in-chief of GameSpot. Before we continue, I gotta review this channel called Gaming Wildlife. Honestly, they're really not that good. I mean, they're okay. You know, they're really not that bad. <laughs> 10 out of 10, like Skyrim, but with sarcasm. Now that transaction may have seemed a little bit shady, but there's something that you need to know about the state of games journalism right now. You see, GameSpot and a lot of other review sites sell their reviews. See, the world of video game journalism is pretty goddamn broken. I should know. I lost my job as editor-in-chief of GameSpot when I gave Kanan Lynch a 6.0 out of 10 back in 2007. And that was eight years ago. Nothing has changed since then. Now, they said I got fired over creative differences, but let's be honest. I gave a game a bad review. It was a really popular game. I got fired over it. See, the world of video games journalism has always been a fairly safe environment. We review popular games well, they make a lot of money when they sell, and then we get a lot of money from the developers in turn. See, game companies can't legally pay us to give them good reviews, but what they can do is buy up all the ad space on our website the day the review comes out. And then what else are we going to do but give them a positive review in return? And it's been going on for as long as I can remember. Hell, it's still going on today. That's what that controversial movement was all about last year. What did we rate the latest Call of Duty game? Eight out of 10? <laughs> they probably bought up some ad space for that. Now our user rating for that game was lower, but review sites will actually post user ratings as well. Usually what they do is take one of their main reviewers, have them post a user rating under a pseudonym. It's practically impossible to trace back to them and people respond better to user ratings anyway. If you need a good example of how broken the entire system is, go check out reviews for Skyward Sword. Most Zelda fans nowadays would say that that game's not very good, especially this guy right here. Now, how did Metacritic rate it? 93. How did The Escapist rate it? Five stars. And what did IGN give it? 10 out of fucking 10. Why? Because it's a really popular Nintendo IP and they advertise like crazy. But we didn't play that game this time. Nah, we're the Rebels. We rated it way lower at a 7.5 out of 10. Honestly, that's the lowest we could go for a really popular Nintendo IP. Honestly, I can only imagine the amount of ad revenue IGN must have gotten from that game. 7.8, too much water. Oh. Um, 10 out of 10, like Skyrim, but with water. <sighs> And don't even get me started on Kotaku and all their clickbait bullshit. But everything we do is clickbait! Do you want to see some bullshit Twitter statistics on gender politics and gaming? Of course, they're owned by Gawker Media, so that's not really all that surprising. Now, despite the fact that the public is becoming more aware of how bullshit games journalism is, companies are still finding ways to hide behind curtains. Go look up who the current CEO of GameSpot is. In fact, go look up who the current editor-in-chief of GameSpot is right now. Because it's not me, despite what Google and Wikipedia will tell you. Was that? You couldn't find a name? Not a single name? Huh. It's almost like game review sites don't want their higher-ups to be known to the public. So that's the state of games journalism right now. Completely broken. But the best thing you can do is to try and support the websites that don't act like total douchebags and maybe we'll all come out on top of this. GameSpot. You can't trust us. Or anyone else for that matter. So, IGN, I just want you to know I really like the way that you handled the Daylight Review. You let someone else besides the people who work on it review it. That was really good. Well, uh, you know, we're trying to improve. Good. You would have made no money off of ad revenue, would you have? Mm, Yahtzee's review and PewDiePie's Let's Play killed that game for us. <sighs> One step forward. And three steps back. Oh.